Hello, we are given 3 to the power x to the power 3 divided by 9 to the power x is equal to 81. And then we have to find the values of x where i, x is a real number, then i, i, x is a complex number, right? So we will find the real solutions and then complex solutions all in this video. So let's start. We are given 3 to the power x to the power 3 divided by, I'll write 9 as 3 to the power 2, then all to the power x is equal to 81 is also the same as 3 power 4. Then we will apply a power rule which says that a to the power m all to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. So we will apply this rule to this part of the question. So we have 3 to the power x to the power 3 divided by 3 to the power 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power 4. Then again, another rule is saying that if you have a to the power b divided by a to the power c, this is the same as a to the power b minus c. So we can write the left hand side as 3 to the power x to the third power minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power 4. The basis on either side of the equation are also the same, so we just apply the rule which says that a to the power b equals a to the power c, and straight away b is equal to c. So from this equation, we have x to the third power minus 2x is equal to 4. Now we have a cubic equation here, so let's equate everything to 0. So you have um, minus 4 here, and this is equal to 0. It's a matter of subtracting 4 from each side of the equation, right? And now, how do we solve this cubic equation? First of all, let's test any value of x to see whether we will get a factor of this cubic equation. So let's assume that x is equal to 1, and then put 1 into this equation to see whether we will get 0. So you have 1 to the third power minus 2 times 1 minus 4. We have 1 minus 2 minus 4. And of course, this is never equal to 0. So it means x equals 1 will not work for this. Let's test for x equals 2. If x is 2, we're going to have 2 cubed, which is 8 minus 2 times negative 2. That is going to be negative 4 then minus 4, which of course is equal to 0. So what does it mean? It means that x minus 2 is a factor of this cubic equation. Therefore, we're going to have x minus 2 times a certain factor of which we don't know, and this is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and then find this factor and then find the solutions to the problem. So what we're going to do is to divide the equation by x minus 2, right? And the equation over here is x cubed minus 2x. No, sorry, this equation, x cubed minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now you notice that we don't have x squared here, so we will just pretend we are having it. So we will write it as x to the third power minus 0x squared, because we don't have it in it, minus 2x minus 4. So we are going to divide this equation by this factor, right? x cubed divided by x is x squared. x squared times x, that is x cubed. Then x squared times negative 2, we have negative 2x squared. Then we will subtract x cubed minus x cubed, that is 0. Then 0x zero squared minus minus 2x squared. That is going to be positive 2x squared. Then we will bring this negative 2x here. 2x squared divided by x, that is going to be positive 2x. 2x times x, we have 2x squared 
2x times negative 2, we have negative 4x. Then we will subtract again. 2x squared minus 2x squared, that is 0. Negative 2x minus minus 4x, that is going to be positive 2x. Then we will bring this minus 4 here. 2x divided by x, that is going to be positive 2. 2 times x, we have 2x. Then 2 times negative 2, we're going to have negative 4. Then we will subtract again. 2x minus 2x, that is 0. Then 2, sorry, 4x minus minus 4, that is going to be 0 as well. So here we have 0, 0, meaning the other factor is this quadratic expression. So it means that the factors of the cubic equation are x minus 2, then x squared plus 2x plus 2, and this is equal to 0. So from here straight away we can say that x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this equation if we add 2 to the both sides of the equation we have x is equal to 2 as one of the solutions. Then from this equation we will discriminate, we will check whether we have a real solution in this because the question is saying we should find real solutions and then complex solutions. So we will test using the discriminant equation which is b squared minus 4ac. Now we have b which is the coefficient of x so we're gonna have 2 squared minus 4 times a coefficient of x squared so we're gonna have 1 times c which is the constant which is 2 right. So we have 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2, that is a, right? And we see that delta is equal to negative 4. Since delta is less than 0, it means this quadratic equation here has no real solution, right? So it means that the only real solution to this problem is x equals 2. So this answers the i part of the question. Now let's move on to the ii part, which is the complex solutions. So the complex solution is coming from this quadratic equation, right? So you use the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, right? And we know that this whole thing is the delta, then all divided by 2a. So, we're going to have x is equal to minus b, which is negative 2, plus or minus square root of this whole thing is the delta, which is negative 4, then all divided by 2 times a, where a is 1. Now, let's simplify this further. We have x is equal to minus 2, plus or minus. Now, square root of negative 4 is the same as square root of 4 times square root of negative 1. Square root of 4 is 2, then square root of negative 1 is i. So, you're going to get 2i from this one, right? 2i, then all divided by 2. Then, we will factor 2 out. You have 2 times, here we are left with negative 1 then plus or minus i, right, all divided by 2. And straight away, we can see that this will cancel that. So we have x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i, meaning it is either x is equal to negative 1 plus i or x is equal to negative 1 minus i. So these are the other complex solutions to the problem so guys subscribe to my channel for more videos let me know what you think in the comment section like this video share thanks a lot for watching have a nice day and see you again on the next video bye bye